Hi everyone. Uh, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use random controller within a surface controller to control the thickness of a panel when you do the surface paneling with uh, Para 3D. Well, what we need is a surface, which what I have here is a NERP surface. It could be any kind of surfaces that we explained in other tutorials uh, that we can use it as base surface in uh, surface controller. I chose ISO only for display options of the nerve surface so you don't see the mesh at the viewport which, which is very helpful when you do the surface cladding and uh, we need three dimensional panels that uh, that we can adjust their thickness so I'm going to use a box here and then we probably can uh, convert this to the mesh or we can use a 50 modifier so first thing I'm going to do is create a parametric array and we go for two dimensional array and that is because our surface can handle the two dimensional array any type of surface that you can map to two dimensional domain you can use with two dimensional arrays so let's create our array and uh, we say yes to this question since we're going to manipulate these control points of F50 modifier. It's better always to transform the object first into the surface. I use a surface controller on transform property and then we set our surface. And then we update the array. Now we can deform the objects to to cover the surface and uh, for that we choose all the control points under the master and we can assign the same surface controller. Alright so I'm gonna just drag the surface controller into the controller button and it asks me if you want to go with copy option or instance. Uh, as you know if you go with copy, each control point will receive an individual surface controller and it works independently. If you go with instance, all these control points will follow one surface controller. In that case, you can't adjust the settings if you VW offset settings for uh, control points unless you use the sub-object control point which is the option I'm gonna go ahead with it alright so we have the surface controller 002 for all the control points the first thing is to pick our surface well if I update the array now all the control points will go to the one point on the surface because obviously they are following these offset amounts in U, V and W directions and uh, since these settings are the same for all these controllers so the result for all points will be the same this is what I don't want to do because if I update you don't see anything because all the points are collapsed into one point so what you need is to generate these UVW offset based on the initial location of the control points in the panel. So I'm going to drag the sub-object control point and then inside that we can set this the size of the panel and we can choose the pattern and there are more options that we're going to cover them in other tutorials. So let's update it now. And then now I should be able to see the panels since this controller is giving out the offsets for the surface controller and everything works well the question was how we can generate random value for the thickness of the panels as you know the z value is projecting the control points parallel to the normal vector of the surface at that point so for example this value which is one is equal to one unit of my scene whatever your scene is uh, in my case I think it's um, it's meter I can change this value to change the thickness of the entire array 
but if I want to change them randomly I can use a random controller here once you drag the random controller you see that uh, there's something happening this is not what we expected well the reason is the random controller automatically generates new fresh random value each time that Para3D calls this function and because of that each control point receives a, a fresh random value to avoid this situation you can check this use pattern option and now you can see that the control points of the each individual panel are receiving the same value from the random controller when you use this option random controller basically creates a series of random value and it holds them in a list and anytime that you retrieve a value it goes to that list and pick one based on the location of the item in the array and depend on the list size you can find less or more variation in your design this is a small size uh, pattern and as you can see uh, every one two three four five items in a row I have a replicated value so if you don't want to see many similarities in your pattern you probably need to increase the pattern size another point is while using this option anytime you update the array the random values doesn't update it's good when you do animations but if you want to create new variations of your design then you have to press and randomize pattern and it creates this new series of random value within that list and like always you can change the minimum and maximum I'm gonna change this to 1 for minimum and uh, 5 for maximum and then we update the array as you can see nothing happens because the random values will refresh only when you randomize the pattern 